just say, uh, do not try this at home. And we'll just have that at the start of the video. The contents of this video is hilarious, but could lead to uh, bad things. So please do not try this at home. I urge you, please do not try it. Um, but enjoy, enjoy. Hello. This down here is what's called a chip extractor and sucks in lots of air to extract from machines such as this, a planar thicknesser, and things from a bandsaw and all sorts of heavy duty machinery. The airflow on this thing is very strong, very powerful, and I don't know what the limit is, but a lot of air will go through it. You've got a huge impeller fan in here, which sucks it all in, uh, such as shavings and dust and things like that. That flies up through here and then into this thingy, which then separates the dust. Dust falls down into a bag. The air goes up through here through a filter bag to prevent the dust from flying up through the top. We are currently halfway through a mezzanine floor build, which is uh, directly above us right now. And thus we had to take apart the extractor in order to get it down here and get it back up there. And I saw this as a prime opportunity to see how many Cocoa Pops I could eat in X number of seconds, depending on how long it takes this thing to suck all of them out of a tube. The current setup is this. I've taken apart a bit of my dust extraction. We've got an L bend here that I've constructed. And what we're gonna do is just put a simple glass gate there. This opens and closes and allows you to shut off machines uh, in their normal purpose, but we're gonna use it to shut off Cocoa Pops today. So it'll be shut. We're gonna get the extractor fired up. And then once this tube is loaded up with three large boxes of Cocoa Pops, Rob is gonna open this and all of them are gonna suck through the machine at once through the impeller fan and out here where my mouth is going to be right here. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. <laughs> it's been a dream of mine for a very long time. I've always wondered what this would be like and now is the opportunity to do so. So uh, let's set this up outside, shall we? Right, one joint there. So we've got two options. We've got one pressure or two airflow. So if we open one of these and we just have the cocoa pops coming from one tube, then we get high pressure, uh, but not as much airflow going through. Whereas if we open two of them, we get more airflow. And I've just put my hand in front of it and tried it while it was turned on. And you tend to get, it feels like it's stronger when both of them are open. It's quite a lot of air coming out of that thing. Quite a lot. Here's our reloading mechanism. That's going in. Rob's going to have to hold this while um, opening that. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all we've got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I don't think we're even going to see any. Uh, never mind. Oh my god. These are quite big bags, aren't they? Wait, I thought I thought there was no chance this was going to fill up. <laughs> this is one bag. It's not going to fit. I feel like this is really going to hurt. <laughs> I mean, they're quite light. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm actually quite scared. <laughs> Weirdly, I'm not. Right. Okay, so that's open, so fire it up. It shouldn't do anything. Okay. What? Don't say anything to Kevin. Um, uh, I, I haven't written a will. <laughs> go! Three, three, two, one! Go! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! I inhaled. 
Oh. Oh. oh, that's actually gone down by three. <coughs> How many did I eat? Oh, I, I counted at least two. <laughs> that really, really hurt. I can't believe how slow that went. Oh. As in, not the speed of it coming out, but how long it took for them to come out. Yeah. It was a good... Oh, that, that was exactly as I expected. It was like glass hitting me in the face. Was it really? It hurt so much. Your face is red. I'm not surprised. What I didn't consider was that impeller fan was chopping them up into shards. <laughs> 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 oh, I need oh. to turn off my slow mo. Wow, this isn't this isn't sawdust. That is, and cool. it smells of cocoa pops. Yeah. Wow. It smells quite good actually. It does. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to hoover this up, sweep it up, and hoover it up just so the mice don't find it. Good luck. Oh. Oh my lord, that is like in there. It is so bad. <laughs> like. Really bad. <laughs> oh dear. Shall we, uh, shall we watch for slow mo on the camera? I think we should. I think we should. I think I should try that again. See if I can get better, like in the stream a little bit better. So turning on. Okay. That's the stream you want to be in. When you're eating cocoa pops, you got to get towards the top of it because you get so much more in your mouth. You wouldn't want to waste any of it. I reckon that's a whole bowl full of cereal in a second there. Inspiring. I want to try that again with another food next time. Um, this can be the uh, cereal series. Yeah, I would challenge other people to join in, um, but I won't because it really hurts. It literally feels like glass is being fired in your face. And it makes... It makes a bit of a mess. Yeah. We've got a ton of cleanup to do now. Um, yeah. Please do not try this at home. It is not a clever thing to do. Um, 
However, you do now know how to eat Cocoa Pops, an entire box of Cocoa Pops all at once. Buy a chip extractor and fire it at your face. Pretty much it, really. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and buy some merch if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video.